Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to cut video to smaller pieces and then remove some parts of this video. And to do that we will use Shotcut which is free editing software that works on Linux, Mac OS and Windows. You can find a link in the description of this video so you can download it and install for free. And now let's start. When we open Shotcut, we will see something like this. Over here we need to choose folder where we want to save our project. Then over here we need to type in the project name. I'm just gonna type in video 9. And below we have to choose video mode. In video mode we can choose what resolution and frames per second we want. So it can be 720p, 1080p and then different frame rates. I'm just going to leave it as automatic, which means it will be automatically set up from the video we're going to import. So that's what's gonna work the best in this case. So let's hit start. And then two things before we begin. First of all, make sure you are on editing. Second of all, make sure that when you go to view, you have all of this selected because we will be using some of it in the later part of the video. So you should have timeline selected, you should have playlist selected at least. If you have it, then click down here on playlist and then we can open file in order to import it. So in order to do that, we hit open file and then let's say I'm going to double click on this one and the file was opened here. We can simply drag it onto our playlist just like I did a moment ago. So this is the first way of importing video file. A second way would be to open the folder where you have your video files and then simply drag the file onto playlist. And as you can see, it was already added over here. So once we have our clip in shortcut, we can move it to timeline. So make sure you have timeline over here, click on timeline here and then drag it over here. Once you do it, it should automatically create a track with uh, video one. And as you can see, there is timeline over here. So over here, we can zoom in using this slider here or zoom out. So just use the slider or hold control and use the scroll on your mouse in order to do the same thing. Over here, we've got a slider. So let's move the slider to the place where we want to cut the video. Let's say over here. And then we can cut by clicking this button over here or pressing S on the keyboard. So I'm gonna hit here. And as you can see, it was cut into two pieces, as you can see over here. Now we can move the second piece to any place we want. We can also just click here, press S. Click here, S, 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 and S. And as you can see, I have several smaller pieces. Maybe I'm gonna cut one more time here. So now we just cut the video into smaller pieces. And now we can simply remove some parts of the pieces. So to remove it, we have two different ways. One is clicking on it, like you see over here, and then pressing delete. But if we press delete, it will leave some empty space in between. So this would be helpful, for example, if we want to move, let's say, this part of the video to this place over here. So it perfectly fits over here. We just moved it. Another way of removing, let's say, this fragment would be to select it and then press X. If we press X, it will automatically move all the clips on the right side to fill the gap. So as you can see, I'm going to do this over here. Press X. It removed. I'm going to remove maybe this clip. And if we have empty space over here, we can right click and hit remove. And as you can see, the gap was filled as well. Uh, so let's say I'm going to remove this part and we just cut the video to smaller pieces. We removed some of the parts and now we can move to the next step, which is exporting the video. In order to do that, we need to move our mouse up here, hit export. And then from the list on the left side, find H264 main profile and hit export file. It will ask you where would you like to save it. So just find the place where you want to save it and hit save. And as soon as we do this, our clip should start exporting as you can see over here. And while we're waiting for the video file to be exported, remember that on our channel, you can find a whole playlist about using Shotcut, about editing videos in Shotcut. So make sure to watch it to learn how to use Shotcut efficiently. And in the meanwhile, our video was already exported. So let me open the folder and then let me play the video so you can see that it was really edited. As you can see, this is the first uh, 10 seconds of the video and in a moment it should skip to the next part. And that's it for today. 
Let me know in the comments if you managed to cut video to smaller pieces and remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.